But next we have you know, Amy Baxter, okay? Now she's actually an emergency room uh, pediatric uh, physician, you know, and she has this wonderful idea. I just think it is the greatest thing yeah, <laughs> since mother's milk that anybody invented, you know? uh, and, and it really is a way for kids not to feel pain. And I have a kid that's 25 years old now, <laughs> and he still hates going to the doctor because of getting shots. I mean, there's just something, he's, uh, it's a phobia with him. And there's a lot of kids and even grown-ups that, that, you know, prevent getting health care because they're afraid of shots. And she has this thing she invented, and I have one here, I'll show you later, uh, that is simple. It's not high-tech at all. It's a simple thing. I mean, she's done research on pain and found out that pain is carried through in our arteries or whatever the nerves are or whatever uh, on something that the, the pain will can, bring, brings us pain also could bring us, you know, uh, cold or heat, you know, temperature, cold, and vibration. So, it, but it can't give you all three. So her little device vibrates and gives cold on a little thing you put in between your brain and the pain, and you get the shot and you feel nothing. And it's just, uh, it, to me, it's a miracle. It's something for the healthcare system. That we're, so now more people could get the health care they need and should get because of this simple little fear. And the drug companies now have ways to do this and it costs like 50 to $100 every time they do it. And because they're disposable, the drug company, you know, what she was telling me, they love disposable stuff. They want to use it and throw it away because that's how they make money and she didn't want anything to do with that. So she raised her own money and went to the government and found a million dollars. That's how cool this idea is, you know. And so watch this video of her telling you about how she got that money. Okay, and your name? Is uh, Dr. Amy Baxter. Ah, it still is from the last time we started. <laughs> so tell us about this. What's this B you have? Well, um, we've got we've got B version and we've got the adult version. Oh. Um, the the idea was that my son had a horrible needle pain experience, and I see and spend a lot of time addressing needle pain as a pediatrician. So I was trying to think of something that would be fast that I could use that would not slow up the healthcare system, but would address pain immediately on contact. Mm. So um, I knew that if you burn your finger and you stick it under cold water, the burn feels better. So I thought there's got to be some way to you know use water and motion because burn pain and needle pain actually have travel on the same pathways. Mm. So uh, you knew this the because you're a physician, or well, I do pain research, and I, I guess see. probably um, I, I probably didn't know that until later. But I mm -hmm. did think that if you can decrease burn pain, which is severe, then maybe it would work for needles. I see. Now I know, having studied all of these these mechanisms in more depth, that uh, needle pain, burn pain, even itching actually are all on the same nerve. Wow. So um, there's something called gait theory, which is my son likes to say it's like it's like cold and motion and pain all want to fit through the same gait, and it's only big enough for two of them. Uh, so, <laughs> so the skate theory, musical thought, chairs, well, huh? right, right. So if you can start motion and cold before you start pain, you can actually block out the pain. So uh, the idea, oh, I see. The idea is actually it's a little vibrator, uh -huh. and there's an ice pack that goes behind it, and so you just put the ice pack and the vibrator together where you're going to get a shot. So if you're going to get a shot, you put it there, kind of slide it up, and then give the needle. Give the needle, the needle right goes through there, or what? No, it just it just goes. Um, you put buzzy between the brain and the pain. So we've got for kids, we've got the uh, cute little one. Okay, right. So, so you put his little bottom part as close as possible to the shot. Oh, and okay. And our new versions have a dot. So you put the dot near the shot, and um, if you were doing an IV stick, right. for example, you put it there, and then you turn on the vibration, and then do your IV in the hand. Ah. So what you're doing is you're actually putting this vibration I and see. the ice pack, you're putting these two things in the way, um, blocking the gate, uh, so I that see. the pain can't travel on the same nerves efficiently. I... And so wow. you end up feeling the cold and you feel the vibration, but you feel either minimized to none of the pain. 
uh, I knew that there were sources of funding from the government that can allow you to conduct research, mm -hmm. even in the context of making a business. Point. So you're, you're, then you say, okay, I'm going to apply for this grant uh, to help you uh, do the research and develop the product, correct? That's, correct. That's what you need it for. Now, did you have a staff, or was it you doing this? Um, it was me. Okay, and I know. It has to be. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have a staff now. But uh -huh. the, at the beginning, it was one really good friend who had an expertise in tax law. So she helped with the budget. Right. The Georgia Bureau of uh, Economic Development oh. had someone on staff named Julie yeah. Collins. And uh -huh. she knew how to do budgets for SBIRs, uh -huh. knew the intricacies. There, there's two different phases of SBIR. There's a phase one grant, which is really exploratory. They're usually between one hundred and one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and they allow you to get a little data to um, to have a proof of concept. Uh -huh. And they also fund some of your development. Now, so the SBIR uh, fast track or whatever the the initial phase, and you said that runs about one hundred thousand dollars or so. And then, did you go to a next phase, or, or you didn't need well, to? The, I, I probably misspoke. Phase ones are 100 to 150. Uh -huh. Phase twos are about 800,000. Wow. Because because we were really ready to go, we applied on a much more stringent um, combination of phase one and phase two together, which is called the fast track. I see. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that unless you already have lots of previous data and uh -huh. a really a really extreme public health benefit that you can demonstrate. Because the the chances of having a phase one approved uh, used to be about twenty to twenty five percent. So right. so getting that initial hundred to uh, ours was actually one hundred and eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. But but getting that approved by itself has a much much higher chance mm -hmm. than getting a fast track approved. And even within the fast track, we had to do what we said we were going to do on time right. with our phase one before we got approved for the rest of the money. But our total grant was over a million dollars. You hear that? <laughs> a total grant over a million dollars. She had no staff. She had a buddy who knew something about accounting helping her. And she went to the government to get free help. It was the Economic Development Office. See, every, every state has an Economic Development Office, you know, and your state capital. And I, I have a list that you could find yours are by just calling the operator or whatever for your state capital, ask for the Economic Development Office, or you can go to gov, sba.gov. They have a listing of them. You know, and you could find it there. See, every state wants you to get that. You bring a million dollars into the state. There's some states even give you a grant to help you get a grant. Like North Carolina, they'll give you $6,000 to help you write that. Now, she did it herself and her buddy and the people from, from the state office to help her do that. Yeah. See, that's the kind of help that's out there. How do you know that? We don't. I mean, I didn't even know it to like run into it by accident. You know, and that's what I'm trying to do is show people that there's stuff like that out there, even to go after these, you know, what you think is so complicated things. The person did it herself, but she got help all the free help that's available. Most of us think we have to hire some consultant and all spend all this money to do anything. No, you don't have to do that in this country. That's what's so great about the country. The best things in life are free. You know? and, and here's some information. Here's a website for the SBIR. STTRs, these are innovative you know, technology programs, and they're in about a dozen agencies. So this is big, you know, invention money, man, a million dollars. You know, uh, Huggies ain't gonna give you a million dollars <laughs> for your invention. So, uh, and also, you know, to help, you know, back with the Huggies lady, you know, the other woman we talked to, I told you about the small business development centers, they also will help you you know, uh, uh, fill out those applications or find you the free help and everything. So remember, uh, you know, your, your economic development office will help you fill out these applications, the small business development centers, and another thing, you know, here, here's her website, the doctor's website for the buzzy4shots.com. Now, uh, I even got one for my son, you know, and, and the buzzy four shots, you can order, it's like 30 bucks and it's reusable forever, you know, because of healthcare providers, 
you know, uh, don't buy them because uh, I don't know, they just because a pharmaceutical company isn't selling it to them. So yeah, it just came in the mail today, actually, because I, my, my son, I know he still fears him. And this guy is like 200 pounds. He only kicked the, my butt anytime he wants. <laughs> and all this, this little thing, this problem goes away. Yeah, you know, there's just, this country is great on inventing things. It's great on solving problems. That's what we're all about in this country. And we need more people like you to identify a problem and go out and solve the sucker and make your life better for the rest of us. And there's help out there <laughs> for you to take advantage of to do it. So what are you waiting for? By the way, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the two women we just talked about, you know, the one who got the $15,000 from Huggies and the other one got a million dollars for invention from the government, both of those videos, you know, you could see on lesgo.com slash videos. We have a couple hundred videos there of people like uh, those two ladies we just talked about, those two moms who got all that money. So you can see all the videos there, you know, at any time it's free, even to non-members. Uh, uh, and there's also government officials there who, who talk about programs, so it's a great source of that, so you don't have to only use you know, YouTube.